everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am in the process of making a coconut scented soap. I've gone ahead and mixed up my batter. I have a little bit of clay I just noticed on top here. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit better. Okay, so coconut. I have made this before. It has been a while though. Um, I'm just, I'm thinking here. So I have some blue, some turquoise. I'm going to do some white and a very light brown. I'm trying to decide if I want any more color than that. I want to do a little more blue than the other colors. Okay. Get this out of the way. Add in my brown. Just a second. I've got to pause for one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to had to take care of that text that I just got. So anyway, this is my brown. This is not the brown that I am going for though. So I need to add a little bit of color to that. white. So my camera situation. I've talked about this a couple of times. Um, I had a video camera that I bought that I was hoping to be able to use. That is not as blue as I want it to be. Um, but anyway, it just did not work out. So I... I'm back to the drawing board. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to spend the money and buy a new camera I don't know um, still not the blue that I'm going for oh. okay so color is going to be challenging today Is for the first of six batches I have planned today. Still not it, but that's that's better. All right, and then turquoise. And that one is okay. All right. Oops, what is that? Okay. Let me get a couple of these things out of the way here, and put my fragrance here because I don't want to forget that. get my mold. You're going to hear some commotion here in a second. My daughter just got home with somebody. It's always really awkward for me when people walk into the house and I'm Soaping. I, it's one thing for me to post my videos, and it's another thing to watch, have other people standing here watching me while I do this. So I mentioned I have six batches to make today. I'm probably not going to record all of them, though. Because they are all remakes. I just haven't recorded this one. And unfortunately, I have to pause. Okay, I'm back. I just had to get everybody settled. 
And I'm just mixing in the last of the fragrance here. This is really watery. I don't remember it being this watery the last time I... Well, not watery, but really fluid. I feel like I'm a little off my groove right now. I still don't like the color of this brown. But maybe it'll change a little. Maybe I'll love it. And then maybe I won't. We'll see. to pour this without pouring it down the side and I know I can use binder clips or tape or whatever but you know I still without taping it all the way down the side I can still make a mess so it's just more hassle for me than anything and you know I'm going to stick with these colors I want them a little thicker for this Now I hear the baby. She has not wanted to take naps lately. She's not sleeping at night. I am tired. I think maybe that's why I'm a little off today. So I don't really want to do a drop swirl. There we get we're getting thicker. I'm going to do a uh, spoon swirl. That went in further than I would wanted. That's okay. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. sure I can see what I'm doing. What happens? I like this blue now. Oh, nuts. It's supposed to be white. Well. Oh, well. myself rushing a little bit because I hear the baby crying and that always makes me a little anxious and then it is thickening up significantly white and this is my last pass here then I'm going to swirl it and top it off of the brown left. So the first pass I went all the way down to the bottom and now I'm just kind of going through the middle, doing a smaller swirl. Okie dokie. 
top it with the brown. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm quiet. I'm just trying to think, how am I going to do the rest of my day here and get all six batches done? Um, I was really hoping to hammer out a couple of them while the baby was napping, but since, you know, she thinks sleeping for 20 minutes is acceptable, that is just not going to happen. I'm going to splatter on some color. So this coconut scent, um, I know I've, I've heard in the past people talk about finding, having a hard time finding coconut that is a true coconut and that sticks. To me, this one smells a lot like a suntan lotion coconut. Um, it doesn't smell as nutty as like uh, real coconut does out of the container, but I like this. This one makes me think of the beach, makes me think of summer, um, and that's what I was looking for, and I find that it does retain its scent. So, I'm happy with this one. It's one of my favorites. I love the tropical coconut scents. I can see that you can't see the whole mold, but you can see most of it. I'm having to have my camera angle again. Um, I just rearranged in my soap room again. It's always evolving, but I'm happy with it at the moment. I just have to figure out the camera angle. Okay. Get a skewer. There we go. Now you can see. teal left. That's okay. I don't even know the date today. I think it's around the 27th of January. So this will be cured uh, about the end of February 2015. Um, don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting attached to the back half of this video. Okay, here is coconut cut, or not cut, here it is unmolded. Um, and I have decided on a name for this, this one. It is um, Gemini. And it's a little blurry for you right now. But there is one that's pretty. You see that? Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. This one smells really good. Mm. That's a pretty one. And there's the top. So 
So I posted this one in the loaf on my business um, group page. If you're not on my Facebook group page, go to my web, uh, go to my Facebook page. The link for that is on my website, StargazerSoaps.com. And if you scroll through, you'll find posts uh, with the links to the Facebook group. I post um, specials there, sometimes giveaways just for group members only. And I try to post new soaps and videos there first. But I already have a lot of people speaking out for, for the coconut soap. So if this is one that you want, you'll want to jump on it as soon as it um, hits my website. A couple of little holes. And now they're gone. So I'm going to patch that up while it was soft and in my hand. Oh, that's a pretty one. I hope the camera is doing this justice. It's dark in here because it is later in the evening. Pretty. And I didn't want to wait another day. Um, I find that my cutter does best if I cut my soaps within 24 hours of making them. I can go two days, but um, sometimes it's it just puts too much pressure on the cutter. So have some air pockets. I'm just going to smooth them out. That's so really cool. Air happens. And the last piece on this one, Gemini, which is a coconut scented luxury soap. Will be available around February 28th, 2015, and available at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.